Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I know in the last video I um, left you off at the sewer access, but now I'm at Speculous Place all of a sudden. Why is that? Well, because I'm almost level 30, and if I don't take care of this now, I may not get another chance to. I made a couple of minor adjustments to my equipment, one including changing Marls to Red Mail instead of Blue Mail. Originally I had people equipped to absorb whatever element they were strong against, but I figured, well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense, because, you know, it's better to be strong against one elemental and absorb another one, than to absorb the one that you're already strong against. That doesn't give you as much of an advantage. But I said before that the reason I had people absorbing the same elemental that they're strong against is because it's easier to remember who's strong against what, so I can respond quicker in battle. But the thing of it is, I, I, <laughs> these battles go by so fast that, you know, by the time something's been done, you know, what's done is done. You're not going to do much about it. Holy crap. Did he just do that to Chrono two times in a row? Well, let's cure him. Luca's got some napalm here. This spell rocks. I don't know if I've shown this yet, but it's a really good spell. It's very powerful, and as she grows stronger, it grows doubly powerful. Luca's got some amazing spells. I know everybody loves Flare, and I love Flare too, but she's got some of the coolest spells leading up to that. She's got another one. I can't remember what it's called. Well, actually, it's, I think it's a dual tech involving napalm and falcon hit or something. And it drops bombs across the screen. It's just so awesome. Now, let's see. Holy crap. I just let Moral die. How stupid of me. Hmm. Well, that won't be a problem. Just pick her up again. See what we can do from here. Uh, yeah, that won't be a problem. Yeah. Just keep doing what you're doing. Who needs the cure the most? She needs it most. We'll have Luca use Napalm again. Oh, that worked out good. <laughs> okay. Let's launch an all out offensive and be done with this. This shouldn't take too long. Um, these are some of the tougher battles in the game, especially later when you get to the 30s and 40s. He'll really start doling out the punishment, because even now he's only using single targeting spells. When he uses multi targeting spells, that's when you got to bring in the multi targeting cures more than likely, because even if you can absorb something, chances are you're only going to have one person absorbing it, which still leaves two characters taking damage. And that's a, twice as bad, literally, as what we're doing now, so or what we're taking now, I mean, this should finish him off right here, between what I've put in here. We'll just have to see. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. How long has it been since I used my tabs, anyway? I mean, holy cow. Oh, I thought that would be enough, but I guess not. That's okay, we'll finish him off now. <laughs> Because I know he's got to be close, so I'm not even worried about healing at this point. You just get that old-fashioned feeling when you know it's almost over. And there we have it. Yes, I bet it was. And we get our reward. Speculative choice set. One magic tab and five mid-ethers. I am the master of war. Whew, sometimes I scare myself. You show sure enough do, Hoss. Now let's check out those uh, power tabs. Yeah, power tabs, I got two of them. Magic tabs, I got five. I'm gonna give one to Chrono and save the other one for Robo later. I'm gonna give a magic tab, magic tab, and a speed tab to all three of us. And uh, that'll be that. Okay, so I'll meet you back at Sewer Access. Hang on. Okay, guys, I am back. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, this doesn't look like Sewer Access. What the hell are you trying to pull on us? Well, I've got a kind of cool store. St store? Wait a minute. If you get over 1,300 points, you get five mid-ethers, basically, from this guy. That's just, uh, um, just for your information. But I also got a high score, 1859, so not too bad. Not bad at all, actually. I didn't think I was capable of that at this juncture. Okay, sewer so access, here we go. This is one of those things you can actually do a lot earlier in the game and save the hassle of having to do it later, but whatever. Bandits, must report to Sir Crawley! Sir Crawley, huh? This place is a bit of a confusing area. Edgar, wait, what is that? Edger and Nereid? Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> Eight damage. Yeah, so you could do this early in the game if you want to. Um, these enemies are really nothing to be com nothing to be concerned about. Even if you did come here earlier, it's just you know it's standard issue attack. Um, use your lightning spells preferably. Because you'd figure, well, you probably won't have spells when you first come here, though, would you? Maybe, I can't remember. Yeah, it's a pretty poopy experience, too. But oh well. 
At least now we can get the treasure, see what's going on here. 600 gold. And there's more! Oh, what the hell, maybe I'll just keep the battles in, because they're gonna go by so quickly, it's gonna be not even funny. It's gonna be not even funny. Wonderful grammar I'm using today. It is so cold out there today, I don't even know what to tell you. It's not so much cold as it is windy. And it's one of those days where the wind is blowing in the wrong direction, so that it's coming, like, right through my window. There was a bridge here! I saw it! Ribbit! Fool! Ribbit! There's nothing here! But it's true, Ribbit! Someone's coming! Let's scram! Oh, God. That messed up my throat a little bit doing that. I gotta remember, I got that three minutes at the beginning of this video of me fighting Speccio. I'm surprised it went by that fast. I thought that was gonna be, like, half of the video. Everybody's like, what? This is a tad on the spooky side. This is an eerie place. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, thanks, Luke Skywalk Luca Skywalker. Oh, what do we got over here? There's a diary. Here's the last page. It's all over. The fishermen attack if I make even the slightest noise. I'd rather have my gums scraped than have to fight those fiends. I think that's an allusion to Secret of Mana, because that's the only other place I've seen that expression used. Gums scraped. So if you do anything with these, uh... Things that you see sitting around, like the cat, if you make it meow, or if you kick the can into the trash can, then it'll cause you to get a random battle. There's a piece of cheese. I don't know if that's avoidable. Yeah, I guess it is. That's basically all it is. You get a random battle. If you step on the save point, you get a random battle because it makes a sound, you know. <laughs> it's funny. I think if you run, you get a random battle too, but I'm not sure. But that's why I walked it, so anyway. You see more of those on Death Peak, which interestingly enough is where you end up after you come through here. Wait a minute, I see something there. Don't try to fool me. <laughs> you actually have to do that. It opens a door over here. It's one of those Metroid-esque secrets, I guess you could say. What's going on? Oh, you gotta come out the door. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Press the switch and the bridge opens! Ribbit? Switch on, Gribbit! Oh, that was the underling that said. <laughs> Ribbit, it's out of reach! And you call yourself a frog, Ribbit. Someone's coming, let's scram! Good lord, that's hilarious. <laughs> There's a frog, you can't even get up to it. Jeez. Hmm. Got one rage band, I believe that... Um... Causes auto berserk, or something. The three of them are almost here! Coming through the sewer like they own it. They must have a death wish. We shall teach them a lesson. Let's show them. Hee <laughs> hee! Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver. Ha 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 ha! Hee 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 hee! Ha 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 ha! Hee 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 hee! Uh, okay. Huh? Well, time to kick your ass, I guess. This guy doesn't even get boss music. How, how unepic is that? He has this attack that looks kind of cool, though. I mean, it's amazing they got the sprites to align just right to make that look like he's doing what he's doing. It's an all but one HP removal. Not a big deal. Well, it probably will be if he hits me again. I mean... <laughs> Let me see if I can take care of that, because... Well, look at that. He's dead already. What a wafer. I'm not even up to six minutes yet. Uh, how long was that other one? 3.31, so I could go up to like 7, I guess. We'll just call 7 minutes the cutoff point. Well, I'm talking to myself here, don't mind me. I'm just <laughs> working it out over, out loud, in my head, sort of. Well, I wasn't really doing it in my head, was I? Besides, we can always take out the battles if need be. One other reason I like to come here later is because of this right here. It's incredibly useful against multi-targeting, or well, against multiple enemies. Not to mention the absorbing stuff. It just makes it all go by a lot faster. You know, I came into this battle with 1 HP and I didn't do anything, and now I'm coming out of it with 20. You gotta love it. <laughs> Wasn't there something over there, though? I mean, like, there was like a switch. That frog couldn't reach it. And I think I probably could have done something there, but... Well, okay, it's over here. <coughs> I believe all it does is just offers you a shortcut back to out or back to the way you came in, you can just... Get, it just it helps you to get through the sewer access quicker if you come through it later. But... I'm not screwing with it right now. So we got one more dome here. Here's Death Peak. In fact, there, this is one reason that you might want to do the sewer access first. 
it's not a huge reason, but there's a tab over here, so you can get it. But you can't go up this mountain, so it's going to blow you off. But we got the tab, so I'm happy about that. I want to give at least one of those other power taps to Robo, and probably one to Isla as well, since they're the big physical attackers. Please, do not disturb my slumber. Alright, fine. Be that way. Wanna be a little bit? Oh god, I gotta do some editing on my Mother 3 video, because uh, I got this idea for a song to use in it, actually. It's really good. The song is good, I mean, I haven't heard it in so long. Because they keep playing these songs by the Moody Blues at work. And, like, they played all, just about every song on the greatest hits, except for the two that I like the most. Or the two that don't get played. You know what, let me check out those computers real quick. I don't think you can do anything with them, no. Not even Luca can figure these ones out, huh? Well, again, okay, there's a uh, huge cutscene coming up, so I'm going to have to stop the video here. So next time on Chrono Trigger, we'll do something else. See you later.